today, I have issued a ministerial order dismissing four members of Chestermere City Council as well as all three of the municipality's chief administrative officers from their roles effective immediately. Mayor Jeff Colvin, Councillor Mel Fote, Councillor Blaine Funk, and Councillor Stephen Hanley were sent notice of their dismissal earlier today, as were the three chief administrative officers. I determined that dismissal of Councillor Shannon Dean, Councillor Sandy Joe Hall Watt, and Councillor Nitesh Narayan was not justified based on the information before me. With this loss of quorum on Chestermere's Municipal Council, I have amended the appointment of the official administrator who has been in place since September 2022 and provided him with new authority to act as counsel for Chestermere until a by-election can be held. I have also appointed an interim chief administrative officer to run the operations of the city starting today. The CAO will report to the official administrator. For many months, Alberta's government has been carefully following our legislative process in our response to concerns raised by citizens starting in January 2022 about the conduct of Chestermere City Council. Municipal Affairs undertook a months-long review and inspection process that resulted in 12 directives from the previous minister that were delivered to Chestermere Council members on March 15th of this year. An official administrator, Mr. Doug Lagore, Douglas Lagore, was also appointed beginning in September 22 to supervise the municipality and its council. However, the city of Chestermere has continued to be managed in an irregular, improper, and improvident manner. We have been patient and we have been reasonable. We have provided city officials with opportunities to address the areas of concern. I have provided a detailed explanation of my various concerns in the material posted to our website. The city has failed to comply with some of the directives that were issued to them by my pre predecessor, Minister Rebecca Schultz. Further, they failed to comply with the supervisor of the official administrator. As my predecessor, Minister Schultz, told the Council and the CEOs when she delivered the directives to them in person last spring, the actions that the government was requiring of them through the directives represented, represented the bare minimum of what any Albertan should reasonably expect from a municipal council. Everyone can help visit alberta.ca forward slash Chestermere to see the documentation for themselves. The government's expectations are completely reasonable in the actions these uh, expectations require are not difficult. Overall, the City of Chestermere has not been complying with its legal requirements. They have been failing to comply with the directives in the supervision of the official administrator and operating in an irregular, improper, and improvident manner. The documentation of their non-compliance is robust and thorough and freely available for public review on the government's website. Some content on our website has been redacted to protect the privacy of individuals but we have tried to be as transparent with this information as reasonably possible. What's most unfortunate to me is that Alberta's government has gone out of its way over many months to give the city as much guidance and opportunity as we possibly could to help them comply with their legal requirements, but they have failed to do so. Instead, the city has attacked the integrity of the government's inspection process and anyone associated with it and tried to establish a narrative that brings in elements that are not related to the inspection or the directives or the correction of their actions. Enough is enough. Every municipality in Alberta must comply with their legal obligations and those who choose not to will be held accountable. All members of council and the three CAOs received a letter on October 18th that conveyed my ongoing concerns and indicated my intention to dismiss council and the CAOs. The letter required a response by November 2nd. After considering all the information available to me, including the responses received, my concerns have not been resolved. The city left me no other reasonable choice. I cannot and will not allow a municipality in Alberta to continue to be managed in an irregular, improper, and improvident manner. Therefore, the four members of council and the CEOs are dismissed effective immediately However, I have determined that despite Council's overall failures, dismissal of Councillor Shannon Dean, Councillor Sandy Joe Hall Watt, and Councillor 
Councillor Nitesh Narayan is not justified given their efforts to hold Council to account and to attempt to move Council in a more positive direction toward proper governor, governance practice and compliance with legislative requirements. In closing, I wish to be very clear, the dismissal of four members of Chestermere City Council and its three chief administrative officers is the result of the City's actions surrounding some of the ministerial directives that have been in place since March 15th and with the City's failure to comply with the supervision of the official administrator. I am confident this action is in the best interest of the citizens of Chestermere who deserve to have trust and faith in their local government. All residents of Chestermere will receive a notice in the mail notifying them of these dismissals, that an official administrator is in place to act as counsel for Chestermere, and that an interim CEO has been appointed, and that planning will begin for a by-election to fill the vacant council positions. One of the first orders of business will be to undertake a financial review of the City of Chestermere. I will, be busy, I will be using my authority under the Municipal Government Act to order this review, which will be conducted by an independent accounting firm. The results of this review will be shared with the residents of Chestermere in advance of the by-election. In the meantime, I want to reassure the citizens of Chestermere that municipal services will be delivered without interruption. To the people of Chestermere, rest assured, your rec facilities will remain open, your roads will be plowed, your garbage will be collected. Normal work to serve you, the residents continues for Chestermere City employees. Only the three chief administrative officers have been dismissed. The difficult decisions I've announced today are about getting Chestermere's house in order. The official administrator will provide interim governance until a by-election can be held and the interim CAO will work to stabilize the city administration. All of this is being done with the sole aim of restoring good governance to Chestermere. Thank you.